Watch you guys got another video here for you how to protect your privacy on your PC now if you're one of these people that are concerned about the privacy on your PC then scrubbing your browsing history and all of the unwanted traces on your computer by using a secure erase method to erase any sort of traces of browsing history and other past activities on your computer or remove all of these securely so let's take a look at privacy which is quite a few people were mentioning it in the comment section below and asking me to take a look at it so i thought i'd download it and we'll put it for its paces and i'll give you my honest opinion on what i think about these sort of programs so let's go ahead and download the software i'm going to be downloading the portable version of the program but they do have a download installation version which works for xp vista Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, and Windows 10, 32 bit and 64 bit versions of Windows. You can see 150,000 PCs have been cleaned every month according to this website. So let's go ahead and get this downloaded and start running it on the system. And it's going to go through this little tutorial type of installation here to find out um, what you want to do when you install it. So, ready to pull for all my first scan. So, we're in the basic user mode at the moment here so let me just close that nagging box off and we're going to go to advanced mode here so you can see we've got a couple of options here this is basic mode and we have also advanced mode here now also down the bottom here you can see create restore point now i have my system restore point turned off um, save registry and do not clean registry so if you don't want to clean the registry which I always advise people not to do because obviously this can cause problems. So let's take a look at the actual program. So we've got a drop down here. This is for what type of drive that you want to scan, whether it'll be how many drives you've got on here will be listed here. So we'll just go with the C drive for this one. Now that you've got all your list here for your selected scans, you can remove ticks from any of these that you want to skip, or you can leave them all ticked and run your scan. Now, once you're happy with your selection, you can then put a tick in, start cleaning and hit the scan button. And this will be your first scan of the computer. This takes the longest. Once it's done this, you'll then get access to the main menu where you'll be able to make changes to the program and do all of that good stuff. So let's go ahead and let this do its first scan of the PC so we can see what the main menu looks like and what we can do with the program. Now, I just wanted to show you this secure cleanup process if you are running a mechanical drive here, you can see that it's going through and cleaning up the free space. Now this will take a bit of time because obviously it's a mechanical drive. So bear that in mind. And you can see it ticking away there up the top. It's at 99% doing disk cleanup and it will continue to do that for quite some time. If you look at the free space on the right hand side under security, you'll see that ticking down and that will take quite a bit of space time because that's 726 gigabytes of free space that it has to erase so depending on your overwrite that you chose will determine how long that process takes on a mechanical drive that is so let's go back and i'll show you what it's like on a solid state drive so you can see here it's saying the secure cleanup has been completed here and that took five minutes and 42 seconds so trim performed and you can access the free space on your C, uh, C drive again. And also you can see here snapshots plus restore points, zero gigabytes, because that's because I have mine turned off. Now you can also look at these little items here when you want to view what is actually gone on with your PC. You can see here these no, these are not clickable, but there is areas here which you can click on and it says C. And basically, it's just zeroed all of those areas. And again, moving on down here, you can have a look on these areas here. You can see these. So let's go to the main menu here. Now we've completed this, and this is the actual program here. So you can see here, you're going to get uh, all your menu options down here. This will allow you to put in your advanced options once you've done your initial first scan 
delete backups older than one month and you can see here these for your registry backups if you want to keep keep registry backups again you've also got your updates history here manual download automatic download is for uh, donors version and cleanup you can go through here and take a look now this is this is an area i wanted to point out on which is to do with your cleanup area here and it says flash memory ssd nand if you've got like an ssd or nvme drive you can see secure deletion plus trim inside here also one pass all zeros this is where you would select secure deletion it's got secure deletion selected here also depending on how many passes that you wanted to do would be determined inside here where you could say one pass two passes three passes and so on now bear in mind that this is going to take a fair bit of time so if you wanted to select something a little bit more like this you could do but it is going to take a bit more time to clean that information from the computer magnetic disks these are your mechanical hard drives you can see here secure deletion normal deletion again one passed and we have a bunch of other passes here i mean 35 passes peter gutterman that is just complete overkill uh, and this will probably end up taking many 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 hours to complete so these are going to take a long time on a mechanical drive let's move on to your memory here uh, you can see here you can do some other bits and pieces in here like ticking certain areas that you want to select inside here internet same thing you've got your browsers here cookies and so on which we covered here so let's go back and that is in your advanced option you've got your schedule here uh, where you can um, put in a schedule for you you must install it so you can't do this on the portable version you will need to install the program to use this automatic cleanups you've got restore and repair and we have also got options here which we've already shown you so i'm going to go back delete without trace sensitive files sensitive directories and also empty the recycle bin without trace and there we go so you've got your scan areas here which you can see which you can put ticks in usb history in registry and so on and this is your scan in depth hard drive usb and ssds you can select these areas here okay so that is the privacy program a lot of people requested this in the comment section so i wanted to make a video on it how does it compare to programs like say c cleaner and bleach bit and things like that i would put this program in a category like bleach bit because it is actually just removing junk from the computer and also overwriting that drunk using the trim command and other things if you've got ssd or whether you've got a mechanical drive you can choose those options so bearing that in mind that's what i would put this in a category with now c cleaner on the other hand is a slightly different program it has a load of other features built into it like uh, uninstallers and things like that all built into the actual program but it's very similar it does have a uh, you know a secure erase feature in uh, c cleaner but again i think this is more geared up for removing uh, junk same as bleach bit that's what the category i would put this into so who is uh privacy for well i guess it's for the paranoid pete out there that likes to uh, scrub his drive and clean all his browsing history paranoid that the fbi are going to come crashing through his front door one day personally um i'm not that worried because i don't do anything bad on my pc uh that warrants something like this to scrub the drive clean but some people are just paranoid and they like to scrub all their history and there's nothing wrong with being uh you know a bit privacy conscious i can understand that but there's levels to your concerns i mean overwriting something 35 times on peter gutman level would be complete overkill uh, but some people i can guarantee are probably doing it and maybe they're doing something that i'm not doing on their pc who knows 
Now, again, it's entirely up to you whether you use something like this on your PC. Um, how often should you use it? I suppose it's going to have wear and tear on the drive if you're using it on a regular basis and you're constantly scrubbing and overwriting that drive. It's going to have wear and tear on SSDs for sure and uh, maybe uh, mechanical drives as well. So bear that all in mind. So what do I actually personally think of Privacy? I guess if you're one of these people that like to keep your privacy stuff private, then privacy is probably going to be ideal for you. Now, if you're one of these people that don't care either way about scrubbing your computer clean with these sorts of programs, then you can probably take it or leave it. There's plenty of uh, options built into Windows to clean out junk files without the need of overwriting the drive. So the choice is really yours at the end of the day. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.